Welcome to episode seven of Up and Coming. Happy New Year to all of our loyal viewers. We'd like to thank you very much for your watching our show and uh, your continued viewership. Uh, today we have a very, very interesting guest. Her name is Judy Taranjo, and she is a caricaturist, and she does really great drawings of people, you know, the ones that you see um, in carnivals and things like that. Welcome to the show, Hi. Judy. Hi. Yeah, how nice are you? you. I'm very good. nice to meet I'm you. Good. So how did you get started in this caricaturist business and Yeah, I've, I've always liked to draw people since I was a child. I've been drawing a long time, and I went to school for graphic design, and I did that exclusively for many years, and occasionally what I would sketch, um, and I got asked somehow, I don't recall how, to do some animal fundraisers for adoption, pet adoption, and I was doing the sketches. And uh, after a layoff about six years ago, I decided to pursue this. Uh, as part of a living and so it's been about six years and um, I called a lot of the agents, entertainment agents and um, DJs and people like that. So that's kind of what I've been doing um, since as part of a living. So when you're, when you're sitting down to draw a subject and you say, okay, uh, I'd like to draw a face of this character, do you interview them at all to learn about them or do you take a picture and draw from picture? How do you work to capture that essence of a, of a person? Yes, um, I try to engage them a little bit as I'm drawing them, it depend depending on the situation. If it's a situation where um, it's too loud, you know, I'll just draw them, I'll draw what I see. Um, have them smile periodically for me, have them looking pretty much directly at me so I could really see them. Um, and I do work also from home, from photographs. I do gift work, which is what I have in the book here. Um, samples of things people have hired me to do, to give as gifts. What's been the most challenging portrait that you've done? I did a, an event for a um, dog daycare kennel. And this woman was having an event, a birthday party for her dog. So okay. she asked me to come, and she hired me to come, and she invited all the um, all of her customers to bring their pets, and most they were all dogs actually. And she set me in a room, and she had me basically she had them all come in, file in with their owners, and some laid down, some moved around. <laughs> so it was very challenging, but it was a lot of fun, and um, the people really seemed to like it. And what's the biggest sketch that you've done, Mike? Have you done a huge, huge one? Or have um, you done something very small? Or? Not usually. The largest I've done is maybe a 16 by 20. Okay. Um, I've done, but I've done sign-in boards for, um, uh, in particular, one person was turning 50. They were doing a party for him. Okay. So I did a sign-in board for him, and what I did is just the basic caricature. It wasn't too large, and then I scanned it into the computer and blew it up, put a background, had it done maybe a 24 by 36 trimmed. They put it up, and people, all the guests signed it when they came to the event. Oh, okay, so then they could see what he looked like. Right, it was a cute, then, yeah, it was a cute then. theme. It was, um, I think what it was is he was standing in front of his pickup truck, and there was some beer, Genesee beer, a couple of cases in the, in the back of the pickup. And it said, I actually thought of the headline, it said something about you're turning 50, and we thought the truck was the guzzler or something <laughs> like that. So she, th then the, the client really liked it. I think it was a good fr a friend of hers. Uh, she was very happy with it, so. Okay. Uh, I think... The most interesting thing about being a caricaturist is that you've got to be a people person. What are some of the people skills that you use to, uh, I guess, make people comfortable? Because a lot of people are a little bit nervous, thinking, mm. oh, well, what's it going to look like? Or, yeah. or uh, I've never had it done before. Or how do you get people to relax? How do you get people to open up enough that you can draw a really true caricature of them? You know, it depends. Sometimes people, I'll, I'll just have people smile, and usually if it's very awkward, I'll try to either say something funny or witty or comment about something, and usually it'll get, it'll get a smile. Um, and then ask questions. Just ask them about themselves. Um, and usually they'll ask me questions, so we'll have some conversation going back and forth. Uh, and I usually try to reassure them that I do not do big exaggerations. I don't do gross exaggerations because... It's been my experience um, that there's a lot of different styles out there, and we're all a little bit different. I work with a lot of different artists, and um, for me, I think what makes me unique is the fact that 
I can capture somebody and make it cartoony to some extent, but I don't do the gross exaggerations. Because I, I found people have said to me, oh, I had one done before and I didn't like it. They made my nose look too big or they mm -hmm. made my... So it's not... I guess what I do isn't truly a caricature completely by the traditional sense of the word, but um, people seem to like that it looks like them and that they don't have really big ears or really wide faces or really large noses. Mm -hmm. So um, when I reassure them that I, I won't do that, and, and, and oftentimes they say, you make me look better than I look. <laughs> so that's always a nice thing, you know? And, so. And do you, um, when you're working, um, do you try to give a sense of, they're there for that moment right there to get their picture done or get their caricature done, but do you think, and, and you do ask them a lot of questions and things like that, but how do you incorporate stuff from their life that, like, they might tell you, oh, I'm a botanist and I like flowers. Do you draw a flower or some kind of, do you, do you think of a scene that you put them in as a character I with try, that yeah. information? I try, well, sometimes I end up doing headshots because okay. of, the, of the situation, usually the time. Or if it's adults, sometimes they don't really want to do full bodies. Okay. When I do full body caricatures, um, I usually ask what they like to do or what would they like to do in the picture. I also bring along, which I don't have here, but it's a booklet of um, a lot of little thumbnail sketches that I've done of people doing various things, mostly for the kids and for the teens and the young adults. And they look through there and they just pick things from there. Okay. Um, but if it's a situation like you're saying where they, they say, oh, I like to garden, then I'll draw something like that. And they even put a flower in it or a plant or okay. you know, that type of thing. Um, other artists have to paint or draw or sketch or whatever daily or at least have some sort of weekly regiment mm. that keeps their skills up to date. Do you do anything like that? Do you have um, a studio at home? Do you draw any hours a week? Uh, like, do you have a schedule like that? Or you just pull no. it out and you're ready to go whenever you... Pretty much pull it out, yeah. I mean, sometimes I will sketch some famous celebrities just to have samples.